The School of Public Administration for over 30 years has been preparing students to become city county managers and to prepare them to work in the public and nonprofit sector. As a leader in this community, um, I, I can attest to the fact that the product that being, is being put out from the university is very, very sound and focused on great educational principles, which are provided through the School of Public Administration. UCF is the second largest university in the country. It has grown consistently over the last 25 years, and the result is truly amazing. People come here, they not only do well, they thrive. Having the UCF School of Public Administration in the city of Orlando has been a tremendous asset to the city. The uh, Center for Public and Nonprofit Management is an important component of the School of Public Administration, and they've become very prominent in service delivery in Seminole County. The Center for Public and Nonprofit Management prides itself on the philosophy that uh, we uh, want to achieve impact in the community. AmeriCorps VISTA is a program of the Corporation for National and Community Service. The project asks citizens to commit one year of their lives to full-time service while serving those in poverty. The Center for Public and Nonprofit Management hosts an AmeriCorps VISTA project focusing on homeless education in Orange County and Seminole County, Florida. We know there are about 3,000 K through 12 homeless students in, in Seminole County School District. And so uh, as a School of Public Administration and a Center for Public and Nonprofit Management, we have been working to help facilitate conversation across service providers, across sectors in Seminole County, and with the school district to help build capacity of organizations to better meet the needs of these K through 12 homeless students. The City of Orlando has a variety of partnerships with the school and the center. These partnerships are facilitated in many instances by the great many alumni we have working in Central Florida local governments. Through our partnerships with UCF and the school and center, we've been able to create Orlando Cares, which has involved over 1,500 citizens in volunteer efforts that directly improve our youth. These volunteers are working on specific indicators that help us to know that our youth are improving in their academics, in their attendance, and other things that make them successful. Students are extremely engaged with our community throughout all of their education in our programs at the school. We use service learning where students apply classroom learning to a real world setting. The Capstone Project at UCF is my version of service learning efforts that all of the faculty in the school are engaged in in some fashion. The Capstone Project requires them to act as a consultant and do a specific project helping a government agency or nonprofit organization. The City of Orlando prides itself in hiring many UCF alumni, particularly because they are very prepared for the work that they have to do. Do I hire graduates of the School of Public Administration? Yes, indeed. And I must say, testimony to the great education that our students receive at the School of Public Administration. The school this year is uh, celebrating, along with UCF, our anniversary. In, uh, it's been 30 years since our MPA program was created. This is a long tenure for a fine institution that has done a great deal of good projects and developed a number of leaders in our community. A quote that I learned a, a number of years ago is, public service is rent for our time here on earth. The School of Public Administration here at UCF has been from its inception dedicated to improving the management skills and training for local city county managers and for the support staff that provide those entities. The school really has provided the human infrastructure for the Central Florida region. This type of collaboration has got to be the future of the public sector and the nonprofit sector working together to solve serious problems in our communities.